everyone. Thank you for tuning into my channel. This is another Finish It Friday video. These are where I show you some of my UFOs that I'm working on and you get to see me working on them. I speeded up the video. This week there are three 30 minute sessions that I have sped up so that you can see how I'm working on those. Um, first of all, I want to welcome you if you're new to my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I am on a challenge right now going all the way to 10K subscribers. And hopefully you can help me with that process if you have not subscribed to my channel already. My picture is there in the bottom right corner. So hit that subscribe button and you will join the quilting community here. And I can't wait for you to see everything that we have prepared for the channel and that you can learn and grow and hopefully be inspired by what you see here. So if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. It's uh, my picture there, click that, and that will bring you on as a part of the community here. Thank you in advance for your support. I was really excited because when I checked today, I had 8,397 subscribers. So that puts me really close to a nice round number with some zeros at the end of it. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, be a part of this process. In this video, I am working on my most recent bear order that I've gotten. This one is for the Christmas bears. And I love making these uh, stuffed bears for people. And right now what I'm doing is I have cut up the shirt. I have kind of laid the pieces out so I know exactly what I need. And right now I'm doing the interfacing for the shirt. I have to, I use the Pelon SK135 interfacing for my bears and my t-shirt quilt blocks. So it is a really lightweight interfacing and it works really well. And I discovered that it works even better if you follow the instructions. So I, right now I, I use the iron to steam baste it first. And then I take my pressing cloth and dampen it a little bit and then go over it, go over the interfacing with that, uh, with the damp pressing cloth and the iron. And it really helps it to stick a lot better to the, the shirt. And also it saves my iron. I haven't had any issues with uh, gunking up the bottom of the iron since I started doing the process this way. And what's cool about it is that's what the instructions say. So that's pretty cool. Um, right now I am still putting the interfacing on this, um, on this shirt. I think I took a day off from this particular part of the of making the bear because it does take a long time so I was working on other projects on Monday and I decided to go back to this on Tuesday this is the what takes the longest for this bear once I started sewing it you can sew it in just a few hours but it's just getting all the pieces together and getting all the fabric place I mean getting all the fabric pinned and cut out with the pattern pieces but it's worth it it's a good um it's good to do. It just takes a while, especially for these opening steps, but they make the sewing so much easier once I go ahead and go through this part of it. For the channel, I'm really excited. To be honest, I'm still on a, I guess, sort of a high or just some good feelings from getting a ribbon at the Georgia National Fair. If you haven't seen that, you can check out the Whip It Wednesday video that will be linked in the comments. I mean, in the description box, and you can um, you can check that out in the description box of this video, or and it'll, I'm sure it's going to show up at, on the end screen as well. So you can check that out, see the ribbon that I was able to get um, after entering my quilts in the Georgia National Fair, and then um, so I've been just kind of working, just getting everything done. I have. Like you can see here, I am working on the bear. At this point, by Friday, it is all sewn together. Hopefully it will be stuffed uh, before the weekend is over and I can go ahead and get it out in the mail. So I'm really happy to have another bear done really soon. And then um, just working on some other projects. I have the commission quilt that I'm gonna be quilting on and you'll see that in just a few minutes. 
And then I, because of this commission quilt, I have started to um, make some quilt as you go blocks so I can practice before I actually start sewing on the quilt. It's really a good project and the quilt is coming along rather nicely. I was worried because I haven't sewn free motion on a commission before. So, um, but it is coming together nicely. I'm happy with it. And hopefully I'll be done with it fairly quickly if I have time to work on it every day. At this point, I'm working on that quilt and you're gonna see that in just a minute. I'm working on it for about an hour a day. And I had noticed earlier in the week some shoulder pain and it just hit me today as I was sewing that it was probably from working on this quilt. And you can see here, I'm doing a meander pattern on it. I had a little thread issue that I needed to take care of. For each one of these, I'm pulling up the thread from the bottom and then just doing a little bit of, of stitching at a time. I'm taking a lot of time to check the tension because that's an issue that I have with free motion. My, um, I, th I feel like I move the, the quilt faster than the pattern allow or than the, than I should. And so it causes tension issues underneath the quilt, but so far so good on this one. My stitches I'm noticing are very small and I haven't had any of the tissue or I haven't had a lot of the tension issues that I have before. And you can see in this part of the video that I am stopping fairly often to check the tent check the tension because I'm just concerned about it. I have, um, as I said, I'm making this meander pattern. It is coming along nicely. And I think that once the entire quilt is done, the pattern won't be super obvious except in the solid portions. And then on the back, the, the thread is just a little bit darker than the fabric. So it might show up if you're looking really closely, you can see the quilting but hopefully uh, they won't be too obvious. I don't want it to take away from all of this beautiful hand piecing that somebody has done. But I wanted to get a nice overall pattern. And so I think the meander is something that's easy enough, but also um, effective enough to, to give the quilt a nice look. And right now, as I said, you can just see that I'm quilting away. And this was the first 30 minutes of the session. And I, after this, um, after I finished filming this, I did go another, about another 30 minutes. And then I stopped because I was start, start, starting to feel it in my shoulder. But, you know, it's still, it's just something that I have to remember to kind of take it easy. And really it might help if I took some, um, some breaks during that hour. But as of yet, I just have not. But I'm looking forward to getting this quilt done and getting it sent off. And they're actually going to go ahead and send me the last one for that they have. And hopefully I'll get that in the next few days. I also have another t-shirt quilt or another shirt quilt that I'm going to be working on as well. If you have any questions about what you've seen in this video, leave them in the comments below. Thumbs up this video. Share it with your friends. Let me know what else you've been working on in your sewing room. And I'll see you next time. Bye.